So what's going on everyone, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and with the excitement of today and the Zombies update which has dropped along with Gauntlets which is a brand new game mode you can check footage of on the channel already by clicking that link down below. We also have a ton of new features that were added in the game today and Treyarch have just dropped the first details of what's coming soon to Zombies as well as looking ahead in 2019. They're already beginning to talk about what's coming in the next update which we assume is next week and also looking ahead into 2019. So what you think guys for all of this stuff let me know down below in the comment section I want to get your reactions live in the comments as you're hearing about this but Treyarch have gone ahead and announced that coming soon there's going to be mastery camos loot weapons master crafts reactive camos and more so to quickly brief it down mastery camos such as gold diamond and dark matter camos are coming to zombies with their own unique challenges to complete in the armory these camos represent the highest level of achievement in zombies weapon mastery so get out there and show off your skills so that will be in the game next week classic weapons and loot weapons such as the mp40 the grav the daemon 3xp and swat rft are coming to zombies next week so dlc weapons classic weapons it's coming to zombies very cool stuff master crafts reactive camos and black market camos are coming into zombies very very soon from all of the stuff that you might have acquired in the black market very weirdly, and uh, out of the blue, there is a new perk coming to Black Ops or Zombies in the near future. And it's to look for more details as they get closer to the update later this month. What on earth could a new perk be? If you have any ideas, let them down below in the comment section. And a new gauntlet is coming later in the month. Today's gauntlet in Voyage is just the first of many to come. Keep an eye out for our second gauntlet later this month. But that's not all, as we're taking a look ahead into what's coming into Zombies over the next few months. This is where you guys are going to be very, very excited and the biggest thing that I want to mention straight away which is just amazing this is truly next level and something which we all were thinking in like how can Treyarch make this game revolutionary and far better than any previous entry they now have server pause so for the first time in Call of Duty Zombies you're planning on allowing the hosts to pause the game at the server level during online matches. So if you're playing co-op with friends or you're doing an Easter egg run, at last, you can actually take a bathroom break. And bathroom break during an all-night zombie session can become a reality. This is the best feature I think they could have ever put into the game. This is literally game-changing. This is amazing. You're doing high round runs, but can't end the game but you can't pause it either you'd have to camp in like an invincibility glitch but you can literally pause the game now from the server which is the best thing ever they're now also adding host migration into the public zombies experience and that's something that they're going to be entering in the game to ensure that everyone can still enjoy the game if the host player disconnects and that'll be a key priority for the team after next week's update they're adding split screen pause, which is a big deal for those that play split screen as well. I don't get why that's not in there already. They're also going to be releasing new gauntlets throughout the year and uh, the next gauntlet in next week's update. They're also expanding the stat support for the authenticity stamp and the big one, faction callings. And this is the big one. Faction callings or factions is planned to be the most intricate new feature coming to Black Ops 4 later in 2019 and as such will require the most time to complete the engineering, scripting, implementation and testing needed before going live in the game. Faction callings are designed to feature a full season of 12 unique challenge events across all zombie maps and game modes that reward players with never before seen character customization loot. Completing each event will culminate in faction based narrative reveals that flesh out the zombies universe even further. This is something I've been pushing for zombies in years for there to be some sort of community challenge where you join a certain faction and it's literally a competition against the other factions to see like how many headshots you can get or something crazy like that and the winning faction unlocking some exclusive loot that no other faction can get so it really uh pays to play the game and put in that work for the community to unlock that certain thing so they say that these details are subject to change during development and they have more info on each of these features as they get closer to releasing the updates containing them but later today they're excited to share more zombies intel from jason blundell in their zombies twitter q a live from treyarch so that's going to be on the channel coming a little bit later on with all of the intel that we learned from there so they said follow us on twitter to submit your questions about the upcoming 
upcoming content is spoken about today and have a killer 115 with them online which is fantastic there's so many good things that came with today's update and i really think this is the like building blocks of tryout becoming a completely different studio when it came to how they were treating the community and communicating with the community when the game first launched this is fantastic first steps i'm sure all of you are very very happy to hear about all these new features and changes coming into the game that split screen pause the server pause is absolutely game changing like i i just can't tell you how awesome that's going to be that we can pause co-op zombie matches it's just a feature that we've always wanted which is amazing and they said that now that dead of the night has been released their heads down on developing the next series of features and content scheduled for the coming months in addition to upcoming gameplay improvements bug fixes and quality of life updates and obviously this is the biggest and most ambitious mode they've ever created and now that they've got the, the dlc one out the way they're going to be working on a lot of content so it makes it sound like dlc 2 is actually going to be quite a little bit away as they want to start adding, you know, the, the big features which they promised. And, you know, I mean, it is a little bit later than we planned. But, nevertheless, this is still really, really exciting stuff. So, if you guys are hyped for this and you like the sound of this, let me know what you think of it all down below in the comment section. If there's anything else they can add to make the game even better, again, the comment section. But feel free to leave a like rating to show your excitement as that would be very, very appreciated. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you for another one very, very soon.